second lesson. Luke chapter 1 verse 33. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. His rulership is for eternity. Brethren, have you taken in what is just read out to you? He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. There has never been a time that the word of God failed. People say that the reign of Christ had ended. And I ask to know when that happened. Has he, has he even started his eternal reign? Or is this just the beginning of it? Caiaphas told the Sanhedrin that they were ignorant of certain facts that it were expedient that one man should die than the whole nation to perish. He was not making fun but was prophesying yet ignorantly. Our Lord Jesus Christ is here to unite the whole world into one fold. Have you not seen right now irrespective of tongue or tribe or creed or age or sex and color it is of no use struggling or contesting over proprietorship of anything. It is also a waste of time to struggle for either land or children or wife or money or any other property because all belong to our Lord Jesus Christ. The rulership of Christ cannot be compared with the rulership of the people of this world, nor could the rulership of the world be likened to a hill or even a mountain. It is not cogitable. There is no king like Christ, brethren. There has never and will never be any other king as great as the king of kings. All other kings are fake. Perhaps you have never understood the meaning of Antichrist. It means self-made kings, those kings who were not ordained. Our Lord Jesus Christ alone is the king of kings and lord of lords. This fact can be compared to a situation where a child hinders you from doing a particular thing and you have to give such a child gifts such that his attention is diverted and you have the chance to carry on with whatever you were doing. If you are sending a child on an errand, you have to coax him by promising him something as an incentive to make him carry out the errand. Once this is done, he feels happy and goes on your errand. You cannot win the willingness of any child to carry out an errand if you beat him up because he will be provoked to anger. The time of Christ has come. Brethren, as, ask yourself this question. Why are the choristers and the Christ students, the Christ servants, are able to compose melodious songs such that have never been heard elsewhere? It is because our Lord Jesus Christ has come to reign. This is Christ's week. It has been declared that all churches and organizations will take it up. Before long, it will become a sine qua non for all church denominations throughout the world. Have you realized how recondite the wisdom of God is? 
Christ has made it possible for all hospitals, all church denominations, all schools, and indeed everything to be universally merged into one. Look around you and let us call a spade a spade. There is no other God, no other King, and no other Lord apart from our Lord Jesus Christ. If you find anybody preaching any other person other than Christ, leave him alone. If you have been reading the memorandum of the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, you will find that there is no other condition, no other way other than Christ, for he is all and in all. If anybody receives him wholeheartedly and accepts him as the only king, the person's way into all good things is opened. When you hear any person ignorantly profess that he does not know Christ except Abu, such as such a person, what can Abu do for him without our Lord Jesus Christ? If you do not know that Christ was crucified on the cross in order to save us, you cannot know Abu. So it was when our Lord Jesus Christ told the Pharisees that if they had believed in Moses, they would have believed in him because Moses bore witness of him. He instructed them to refer to the Bible and they would see it he stated that he shall receive of me and reveal unto you our duty is to reveal him to you. Whoever bears witness of himself seeks his own glory, but he who seeks the glory of he who sent him bears witness of such a one. I refer you once more to the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star Memorandum. You have to search all the preaching delivered here from January to December. And as a result, you will see the glory of God manifested in you in its entirety. The Holy Bible proclaims the name of Christ. Brethren, from Genesis to Malachi, everything that was written is about our Lord Jesus Christ. And from Matthew, Gospel to Jude, Nothing else is discussed except our Lord Jesus Christ. The whole of Revelation of Saints of John the Divine carries no other message than that of our Lord Jesus Christ. Have you not come to the awareness that He was, He is, and He will ever be? If you do not believe in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, what of the Holy Bible? which is a proof of the existence of Christ. Abraham, Moses, Melchizedek were all the same Christ. Whichever Bible portion you may start, it is our Lord Jesus Christ all true because he is from A to Z. If you know Moses and David and Jacob, you have to know our Lord Jesus Christ. If you claim you do not know them, how can you then have a foundation of the truth? Were you not told that the signs of Jonah, no, were you not told what the signs Jonah depicted? Who was Jacob? Was he not our Lord Jesus Christ? Who was Joseph? Can you not use your spiritual eyes and intelligence to discern this great mystery? How can you trace them without understanding? Our Lord Jesus Christ is always 
has always existed from the beginning. Do not seek for yourself. Seek only for our Lord Jesus Christ, who is eternal. People say that Brotherhood of the Cross and Star Worship Man. If you come here for an eye service and do not worship our Lord Jesus Christ, you have failed. Read the golden text again. Golden text, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Christ can never change. Brethren, have you not realized that the whole Christendom call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ? Is there no unison in the calling of this name? Or is there any corner that does not resound this name? This is because the embodiment of the earthly government is Christ. What are you waiting for? All generations call on this name while you profess you want Abu. The policy that our Lord Jesus Christ uses is love, mercy, and peace. There are these are his instruments of work for maintaining us. And no one is lost except the son of perdition. If you, alien, if you alienate yourself, you become a child of perdition. Our Lord Jesus Christ has always been working to save all and to unite all to one body, his body. Since he is the only king, all church denominations are one, all governments are one, and all schools are one in him. But now that you vow never to leave your church or renounce your faith, it is better to keep silent because you know nothing as you are discriminating. Have you come to the awareness? that Christ has come to reign and unite all into one, his own body. The confusion in the minds of the people today is because they do not understand the movement of things here in the kingdom of God. They do not understand that our Lord Jesus Christ is ruling. No other person can claim the position of our Lord and King he is the first and the last because of all his attributes. There has been so many changes in the world. All that you have to do is to believe in him, that he heals through mercy and performs all things free of charge. The very Christ of yesterday is today and will ever be. Have you not realized that whatever we possess belongs to him? He is going to make education at all levels to be free for all. Previously, you struggled to claim this land or this house or that property as belonging to your earthly father. Today, Christ claims all, so all lands, so all hands should be off. He has taken over all schools, every city, everybody, and all of them belong to him alone. If you refuse him to reign or rule over you, know for sure that your present position is uncertain because any person who does not gather with him scatters. We are to support him in loving everyone by showing compassion and behaving according to his own covenant. The new covenant is for our benefit and it is love. At first he came to teach us how to love 
And now he has discovered that we cannot practice love. For this reason, he has come to take over everything and sow more love by practical example, lest we become useless. Precarious position of evil doers, brethren, in future, drunkards will not hold any positions of responsibility in any place in the world, and so also will it be with all those who indulge in diverse vices. Those who possess love have power, and they will rule with him. Search yourself, lest you be yoked with those in these categories of the opposition party. There is nothing like witchcraft. It is the figment of your imagination. If you fail to support our Lord Jesus Christ, you have failed, and all problems will confront you. Note that church are no church. Prayer house are no prayer house. I am not interested. All I want is that you should support our Lord Jesus Christ because all church denominations belong to him. He is the sole owner of all the markets. Hence, we have to surrender everything, even ourselves, to him. The new chapter in history of mankind. Brethren, Christ is weak is a new chapter just invoked. Everything done during this week should be devoted to Christ. Soon the whole world will have to take turn because it is a divine order. There will be no more masquerades parading the streets. This crisis week will be established everywhere all over the whole universe. Our Lord Jesus Christ is love. He is good. And as such, we have to love and be good also. We must forsake vices of all sorts and embrace him because he has brought life to us. Whatever you have now, is to be brought to him for the sake of joy. I have taught you so many things about this new kingdom and I have assured you that there should be no death, there should be no lamentation except joy. You all have to demonstrate your gladness by singing and dancing and rejoicing with our Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let those who have ears, let those who have ears hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.